Project Harbinger, to turn candidates like you into replica commanders. Although it hasn't worked out too well, as Sergeant Beckett can attest. You still eavesdropping on us? Zip it and listen, honeycakes. Genevieve Aristide thinks she can contain Alma, but her plan is going to backfire. Alma is too powerful to be contained. She probably always was. So what are we supposed to do? Destroy her! How? Don't worry about that later. Right now, we need to focus on reaching the rally point. Get to the stadium, then we'll talk about what to do next. What's going on, everybody? And welcome to part 8 of my playthrough for Fear 2 Project Origin. If you were actually listening to that cutscene and not just saying, Where the f is the audio commentary? Well, it's uh, it's kind of an important cutscene, I guess. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm trying to justify my reason, but I don't have a backup for it. Do I look like an idiot? Why, thank you, audience, for being completely honest. Yeah, just like your buddy. I didn't know I could shoot him. I thought I was going to look like an idiot, and I actually killed the rat in the beginning. Uh, oh, the enjoyment. The simple enjoyment. Um, nothing down there, right? Probably was. Not going back now. This one spot here in this game, I don't know why, but it reminds me of Fear 1. I, I don't know why. I don't even think there's a spot like this in Fear 1, but it just uh, just reminds me of Fear 1. Like I couldn't tell you why. And I couldn't tell you why that plane is coming down. This whole section, is it? I think where Fear 2 starts to separate itself from Fear 1 is a, I don't know, now that we're out of the hospital, out of the sewers, we're into a much more fun part of the game. It's where, oh, you'll see, a lot of cool things start happening. And that's a dead end. I remember that dead end. Right? Don't we, don't we go this way? I, I think we do. I remember getting stuck here. I think, if anything, there was a piece of intel in this room. I think. Jumping down is a stupid idea. Uh, oh, sad face. Where do I go? Oh, there's a skeleton on that car. <laughs> That's cool. Ow. Jesus. Oh. How do I... Oh, I'll cut back when I get out of here. Okay, well, evidently, all you had to do was jump through this window. Why I couldn't think of that? It's beyond me. Whoa! Okay, I don't remember him being here. I actually don't. I thought they didn't appear until outside. That is the first, uh... Spectre, I guess? I called... Didn't I call the, um... This is funny, because this is where I actually started my blind playthrough for fear. Cut out all the boring stuff. Damn, I'm awesome. I remember... That was my first... Real... No, I guess Dark Side Chronicles was my first real playthrough. I think. I don't remember which one was. Interval 4. How badass is that? Devastation. And these guys. You can hit them. They turn to ash. Isn't that cool? Oh, oh, I, I can't think of a sliding sound effect. Yeah, I'm not sure if these are supposed to be real people or not. It's it's hard for me to tell, actually. I'm going to say they were real people and almost just like... Like blinked. Like looked at this town and it just everything was on fire. Just like that. They remind me of, I think I said this in my... Holy shit. What just I don't know, what did just happen? I blinked and I missed it. Is it? Oh, she is pissed. I'm, I'm Sergeant Becca, baby. That's not good, huh? So what, like Alma can snipe too? She's like, she's a sniper at heart? So yeah, these, I think I called them Spectres in, in Fear 1. Damn, in Fear 1, I called them Spectres, but these aren't exactly Spectres, they're more like Poltergeist, I guess that's what I'd call them here, Poltergeist. Kind of what I would picture Poltergeist. Padlock, cannot stop me. Chainlink Fence, Chainlink Fence can stop me, but Padlock, you've got nothing. Grab this, free ammo. For, like I free ammo. Oh, I don't want the combat shotgun. Give it back. There we go. I guess I can't pick up anything more. I thought there was um jump over the table. Thought there was uh trippy stuff going on here. Man, I gotta lay off the energy shots. 
Those things will kill you. Uh, good sir. Are you... Good sir, are you looking for a taxi? I... Oh, how rude. So I don't get this. You know what this reminds me of, actually? It reminds me of... Okay. Way to go nerd on you and lose you from a horror shooter, but... If you... Hey, whoa, stop that, buddy. If you've ever watched, um, Naruto... It looks like... It kind of looks like puppet jutsu to me. Like, I know... I know, it's sad that I would think of something like that, but it does. It looks like puppet jutsu where they have, like, strains of chakra on the things and control it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You don't want to admit it, but you know what I'm talking about. Let's roll into this guy. Yeah, how do you like that? Yeah, scream all you want, man. I'm more badass than you. Where are you going, dude? This is... Yeah! Sergeant Beckett for the win, right? I think so. That was cool. I think that's, like, the only enemy like that in the game, and... Shouldn't this have stopped by now? Okay, there we go. I was going to say, cool glitch. I can post it on YouTube and become a YouTube sensation. Actually, that reminds me. I did see a really... Oh, look at this. I have a piece of intel I clearly missed. Don't miss that. Don't be me. Well, be me, but don't don't try to be me. You're like, these can attack you. It's kind of it's kind of strange. But I, lo I love, absolutely love the visual effects for these guys. The poltergeist. No. Thank you. Back to what I was saying, though, uh, I saw a YouTube video of, like, um, Fear 2, a glitch, where you're in, like, the laundry room or that pool spot, and the guy, like, Alma, the little girl, what am I saying? You know who Alma is. She was behind the guy, but she's supposed to disappear. Uh, I guess there was a glitch in the game, and she didn't disappear. It was so awesome and creepy. Like, she's cute and creepy at the same time. Really hard to, like, express that combination. Like, once you get past the fact that she's covered in blood, and pure white is a ghost, and I got stuck here before, and she's very angry and maniacal and evil, but she's actually kind of cute, really. Oh, that's convenient. Really? I mean, just look, look at a picture of her for a little while. Not the adult form, but the younger form. She's not that bad. Unlike these guys. These guys are bad. Do you think this will do anything? Oh, it did. Sweet. Let's get the rest of them. I don't know how bullets affect poltergeist, but, you know. Okay. Unusually dark right there. I always turn the wrong way. Jesus! Like, if I had a choice, like, I, I, I'm never going to gamble when I get the shot. Even if I had a chance to gamble, I... Very big robot. I, um... Oh, that was cool. Did you see how, like, the rifle scope was, like, colored? That's neat. Nifty. Isn't that nifty, kids? Yeah. Giant robot. Aww. Just tell us, man. That stupid bitch. I love this guy. I really do. He's like the, uh, you know, there's always a... Co comedic? It's comedy relief. You know, the comical... Comical, that's the word. Yeah, I'm not stupid. Comical relief. Yeah. That's that's the kind of guy he is. And I like him. Too bad they all have to die. I mean, they'll live a happy end. It's a, it's a good game. It's a child's game, right? E for everyone. Pow! Oh, what? Pow! So that's what I'm talking about. The assault rifle? Bad, like, idle sway. And whoosh, I don't have to do that, but there's probably like a secret achievement I don't know about for getting all those. I don't have to hit them, I can just walk through them. I feel like God. I am God. <laughs> okay, let's see. Wow, is that an oil truck? Oh, it's, it's a plane that went down. Oh, that's a cool throwback cameo. No, cameo's like if they did something in Fear 1 that they did here, right? That's like a cameo. A cool connection, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Damn it. You know, that flamethrower does a lot more damage to me than it does to, like, the enemies in general. And I hate how, it, like, my arrow tells me it's coming from that way, and it's, like, always behind me no matter how hard you try, it's always behind you. Like a dog chasing your tail, like, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. No. So I guess we're having fights with, a uh, Hit Squad and the Replica Soldiers, I think. I think so. I probably should just let them fight while I walk by. That would be the smart thing to do. 
And you know, I don't remember only being able to hold three health packs. Am I playing on hard? I think I'm playing on regular. I hope I'm playing on regular. Dude, you are standing in the middle of a fire zone. Switch to my SMG, because it's not been getting enough love. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing in the corner here? I don't want to make any obvious jokes. But, oh, God, oh, you mother... You want some of this, dude? Yeah? Sergeant Beckett will supply. Come on, dude. I don't care if you're 7'3". That's right. That is a terrible way to die. And I guess he agrees. Aw, oh, man. You ran up the stairs like a coward. Now I'm gonna have to kill you. What's up, dude? Where are you guys going? Oh, <laughs> can you imagine this? Just like, one guy running through while like, the other guys are like, shooting over their back trying to get away. That actually looks kinda cool. They definitely up the look for the replica soldiers in this game. Hmm. And I kinda like this approach through the city. It's kind of a nice touch. I think I may have taken a wrong turn. Can we jump out the window? Nope. We can jump through the floor. Logical. Yeah, I think I have to go this way. Right? Nope. Not the shotgun. Stop grabbing it. Kinda weird to have two almost the exact same shotguns in this game. It's kinda strange. I guess they take more than one melee. Um, should I be back here? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you can shoot that. I think there's an achievement if you can shoot that and kill a guy. Or kill multiple guys. I think there's an achievement for that. I think. Never quote me on it. It might be Gears of War I'm thinking of. This whole section here does remind me of Gears of War, though. Not like I'm saying they stole it or anything. I'm just saying it... it they're similar. Gears of War 2, that is. Well, Gears of War 1, also. Good game. I'm thinking about doing a playthrough on that someday. At least one. I mean, it's... Multiplayer's okay, you know, it's a shooter, but the campaign story is actually really good, and it just... It works really well, and it's... There aren't a whole lot of games that you can play co-op with, like... The game is a co-op game, it's based around co-op, which is... Actually kind of a comparison between Fear 3 and... Oh, here's our way out. Fear 3, and what's he got? Uh, apparently he's got something really big. Really bad. Wow, I took a really good fall in slow motion. Embarrassing. Okay, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Meh. Fear 3 and Gears are kind of looking like similar games. I mean, just the co-op based thing, I guess, is the only comparison I'm really making. You mother... F oh, rabble. Payback. Okay. You know what you get? You're probably going to be the only guy in the game who gets this. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry. Immature, but had to be done. When a guy pisses me off that much, it just turns me on. Yeah, it's, that's it. Now we can get a rocket launcher, which is actually something I'm going to swap for my pistol for the time being. Goodbye, pistol. I'll meet you again. But we're going to want that rocket launcher for the next episode. I think I'm going to end it off here since I was clearly being given signs to stop playing for a little while. So until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Later.